ជម្រាបសួរលោកលោកស្រីសាសានុសាជាទីគ្រប់រាប់អានស្វាគមន៍មកកាន់កម្មវិធីរៀនភាសាអង់គ្លេសពីចំងាយរបស់មជ្
acronym code code cứ xem từ ca tăng ở so nam muối rồi bỏ vào vậy muối rồi tiệt lại nam muối chèo sai cái tiệt lại u thọ sọc cái máy dương cái vợ tăng đội cage thailand tăng đội th việt nam tăng đội vn như chẳng tới ok so now we have i have uh, selected really a number of abbreviation and acronyms and code for uh, your study today so i hope that this will benefit you for your business communication okay let's start it so this one is organized by uh, sort of sorted by alphabet so from a to z but uh, some of the letter is not existing here so but we can do more research but this is just to get you to understand what is abbreviation acronym and code so then we have some very common uh, abbreviations and acronym here so i believe it, it, it will benefit you <coughs> okay asap as this one is from as soon as possible APT is from airport ASST is acronym of assistant this one is acronym of airport ATM is the abbreviation of automated automated teller machine ATM for money okay get a card get the money ARR arrivals this is acronym AV is the uh, audio visual audio visual <coughs> so this is more about put, uh, group of staging production like that they use a lot for uh, meeting hotel okay they use a lot for AV and AD you know that Anno Domini so this is like Latin word this one is uh, the current year now after Chris <coughs> Okay, if you don't uh, get what I said, I just uh, go roughly, but uh, you can click the link below of our, from our website. I have attached the PDF and I have also uh, tried to facilitate it into Khmer translation. So I believe this will be very helpful for you. But uh, for now, I just go roughly so you can get an idea of what you are reading. Okay, no worry. KBC before Chris B Y O B okay very funny bring your own beer okay if you go to the party when they put a note B Y O B that's one you have to buy a beer and bring there and otherwise you have nothing to drink okay. B O D board of director so if you have a company you have a few people uh, invest together or you start a company together so that that those people we call it BOD so board of director so all those are the owner so sometimes we have a board of director meeting so all these big guys coming together to have meeting uh, in Khmer we call it BTW by the way CSR corporate social responsibility this one is used a lot for marketing social for business marketing when the business is really social conscious so you really care about the society care about people care about environment care about uh, animals yeah, care about others so care about society so they use a lot of this term or this abbreviation corporate social responsibility okay and this is Krom Hun I'm going to talk about the link Krom I'm going to talk about the link Krom I'm going to talk about the link Krom I'm going to talk about the link CIA you know that right Central Intelligence Agency yeah very big CDC, 
You know that? This one. Uh, center. Center for disease control and prevention. Center for disease control and prevention. <coughs> you hear all the time CDC, CDC, right? Especially during this COVID-19, CDC is very common in English and also in, in our country. We have DOB, date of birth, DND, do not disturb. Yeah, you see a hotel and have a sign of DND, don't knock, okay, don't disturb. DIY, <coughs> do it yourself. <coughs> I think DIY is very common as well that uh, when they show you something and they said don't, oh, said, sorry, they, they, they said DIY, yeah, just try it yourself, do it yourself. DIT, die in that. What is die in that? Die in that is a spe special dining facility. Um, it's just like a restaurant, but when people go there, the room is completely dark, no light, and you got served by the blind uh, service, blind waiter, waitress. So this is uh, just let you get an experience how the blind people die eat. Okay, Deb, this one is just uh, for mainly for airport. I just want to say uh, uh, departure. But if with T, it's more about department. <coughs> DMC, this one also a very common word for those who work in hospitality. This one is it's functioning like up to operator or travel agency, DMC. So destination management company. It's just a company to manage locally. So if you have a partner overseas, they send the customer here. So DMC is the one who manage everything. Okay? Called DMC. D O S M. What is D O S? This one is just a position that they use a lot for in hotel, especially. So, director of cell, DOA, director of cell. So this this guy is, will have to make great plan and trying to find a business for the hotel or for the company. So they try to sell at the maximum. DOS, DOSM. Director of sales and marketing. So, if you see them, um, they do also the marketing. So, we have to set up a plan. So, who to meet, how to promote their product, and what to produce to get their product known worldwide. Okay, you got it? ETA. This one is referred to mainly about airport or travel again. So, Estimated time of arrival. Estimated time of arrival. Oh, expected time of arrival. Okay. <coughs> ESL, English as second language. Okay. Like I'm teaching now, I'm presenting to you now is I'm doing English as second language because I'm Khmer, I'm Cambodian, I speak Khmer. So English is my second language, or can be third language, yeah. But because English is international language, so mainly English is a second language. Or we can say another way, we call it EFL, English as foreign language. Sometimes we said it, uh, teaching English as second language, T-E-S-L. TEFL, teaching English as foreign language. 
KEG is a lot when uh, your teacher try to explain you something and then they put it EG this mean a simply structure this is uh, Latin again it just mean for example for example so EG EH sorry EH here is just example ED what's that position again this one is mobile NGO it's like shoot to director so this one is also very big they have the board of director and then they have chairman blah 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 but mostly ED is the one who execute the one who do all the plan deliver on the project uh, sorry not not deliver but uh, delegate delegate manage the staff and so on department by department so this one almost the biggest one is like GM ED executive director yeah if uh, yeah but uh, every organization is different so this is just an example okay move on to FAQ what is FAQ okay this one you see a lot every organization in the website they always put FAQ section what's that this is frequently asked question so if this question is really common for your organization you better to prepare it and put it in a AQ so that people want to know about that information they can go to the AQ and mostly they got everything there that you can reduce some of your work you can reduce uh, your cost by employing more staff to answer all these questions okay FC FX yeah this one also very good frequently oh sorry first come first serve okay so if you have limited thing you always say first come first serve because we cannot keep for anyone anyone who come first they can get it so first come first serve FBI or oh, everyone know it okay Federal Bureau of Investigation so that is investigation police it's a very big one <clears throat> okay let's move on to G okay start with GM you know GM general manager so GM and ED yeah sometimes they in if an organization some organization have both GM ED so that is up to the organization who is bigger but um, it, if one organization has no GM and then they have ED if have no ED maybe they have GM but uh, yes maybe different sometimes they have also MD yeah, managing director so all this is a big Okay, GOP, what is GOP? Gross Operating Profit. What is Gross Operating Profit? Okay, this is accounting. Gross Operating Profit, it's come from <coughs> GOR minus, okay, GOR minus GOE. GOR gross operating revenue revenue what you sell you get it and then you take out the cost of of those stuff of those things but you know GOP is not really the money that you can take for your pocket yet because you have to pay for your staff for your rent blah 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 so this one is the profit you get just after you sell and you spend for the material of that product only but not including other uh, of your expense <coughs> okay you got it um yeah this one one more gdp <coughs> Okay, so GDP is gross domestic product to tell 
if a country grow or not growing this year so you can see the number GDP developed by 7% 12% okay yeah but this year I believe no no country in the world is got increased in GDP okay let's move on H HTL this one is for hotel very easy Okay, I, ILO, you know that, right? ILO, International Labor Organization, just an organization who taking care of the labor or the workforce internationally. <coughs> okay, ID, I said, identification, IE, IE is similar to EG. It's from Latin America, it's from it is it is. ID EST it is in Khmer we said Kuta Kuta okay okay IOM what is IOM okay sorry <coughs> I am O, I am O, not I O M. I am O. In my opinion, the Knong, but Tam Tosana Knum, Tam Tosana Knum, in my opinion. Okay, you know that, right? It's simple English. IQ, you know that, right? IQ, you can have very good IQ. It's just a, a, a tool or a measurement to tell how intelligent you are. So, Intelligent quotient from intelligent quotient. Go to the link below, you have everything. You have the full phrase and basic translation. IDK, <laughs> very easy this one. I don't know. I see you, you know that, right? I see you, no one like it, okay? Because uh, expensive and yeah very short occasion i see you it is uh, intensive care unit in khmer on top songkru bantuan okay get on jika jika you know that right it is a jump japanese organization is very active in Cambodia as Japanese International Cooperation Agency Japanese International Cooperation Cooperation sorry, Cooperation Agency okay. Japan <coughs> okay KM you know that kilometers KOS yeah, this is a code KOA. It stands for Sinovil Airport KOA. So if you want to book a flight to Sinovil, you have to select Rep KOA. Coast KOA means Sinovil. So if you fly to KOS, you will arrive in Sinovil Airport. Um, okay. L low 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 <laughs> love laughing out loud laughing out loud so I got yeah yeah I think I'm going to go to the next MD I said this one position again MD managing director just like MD GMED all these three is big guy eh? MBA, okay. you know that, right? Anyone got MBA here? For me, no. Never, never had chance to. Uh, MBA, Master of Business Administration. Anumdet, group grong turikit. Okay, but people make fun of that. Is it MBA married, but? Available, yeah. 
non lo ti copo like it right merit but available <laughs> mice you know mice small mouse right a lot of mouse so we call it mice no here different this one is for travel industry travel and event industry we call it my my here stand for meeting incentive congress convention or conference okay c it's up to you e event or exhibition okay so this is just like a product in a company in a travel company even company so if they want to create this uh, product this service for the customer so they second it into my session so my session so if you see my mean this company at least offer some of this i think when in cambodia most of the common one is meeting it's growing incentive and what is incentive meeting you know right people come here to organize meeting at a hotel or somewhere incentive incentive is just like a company invited their good customer invite their good staff or those who sell reaching the the, the target so they, they they just give them a travel so they treat them as a travel so they can come and enjoy everything for free so they cover everything so those people who travel like this we call it incentive so you got incentive travel see congress you know congress right? is very big meeting or uh, can be conference but for me i like it to be congress it's not really happening here i think but in europe and other developed country they have a lot of congress like congress of the government E, a citizen, yeah, we have it here. But most company not doing, most travel company not doing it, only the event company doing exhibition. Because a little bit of complicated. Okay, move to N, N A, you know that? Not applicable or not available. Sometimes you write and then say N A. N A means not applicable. Not be born, not mean. Okay, move on to O, O, T, you know that? Yeah, especially for those who work in the airport, they got a lot O, T, yeah. The O, T is very e efficient. It's very reliable. So O, T, over time, over time. So over time, which over time fee. So you got more money after you have fulfilled your work hours. Okay, you got it? OMG, oh, you see a lot in chat, right? Oh my god, oh my god. OTA, what's that? Travel again. Online travel agency. Okay, there's offline travel agency. It's like, what are they doing? They stand here, they sell offline. Okay, they try to communicate, but online. Uh, travel agencies you can see like Expedia, Akuda, uh, yeah, a lot more. I can I can't get it now. So all this is is uh, online travel agency. Some hotel they just go to tour operator or travel agency to sell the room, the product. But most of every hotel they also sell the product through online travel agency so they just put the information in their platform and those platform try to sell your product on internet instead of printing and selling to the customer offline face by face <coughs> okay if, and next p p and h like say code this one Phnom Penh international airport ppe for Phnom Penh city and ps you know that ps postscripts if you write an email at the end you 
just realize you forget something or you want to add on some something you put ps at the end and then you write a bit of of thing right so that is called ps postscripts i think this one also latin pc personal computer you know that okay simply like this okay pc so you can go with that with it anywhere that's called personal computer and the other one is what desktop right you keep it okay so uh, pc is just like laptop pure personal romantic no public relation so this is also very important for your business public relation have to have everything so you have to have relationship with the public um, if you have your customer this PR guy go and meet them uh, if you have people complain PR guy have to go meet them so they have psychology a bit of, of technique to talk to people and meeting with people not going very scary if you go on the stage they have to know like uh, public speaking they know how to where to use the to deliver this speech uh, effectively and productively right not go and scary okay props what's props i don't know where this word come from actually but it used a lot in meeting what is it why you use a lot in meeting so if you go to a meeting you have to have props props can be agenda it can be a bag with t-shirt uh, yeah pen pencil marker uh, uh, screen pointer blah, blah blah all this stuff we call it props so so prop is very important it's just a material to to have you like meeting props just some material you are going to use for your meeting so like stationery and blah blah so you have to have a list of everything or your props so so that you don't forget anything in your office if you are traveling overseas okay that is called props so hospitality guys you have to know that right prop okay phd ah, too far ph it come from philosophy philosophy and D doctorate so doctorate degree of philosophy so you get doctor okay so this is the highest level in in uh, education yep okay I'm like Q just one QTY this one if you go on invoice and bill you always see QTY QTY but it said that is quantity quantity number okay can we move to uh, RSVP RSVP what's that okay this one is more about French way of doing it but it's also very common in English but it's yeah why you write this so long RSVP but that is stand for reserve 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 so why not say reserve why do you say RSVP rep for that that stand for simply airport so if you are flying to simply airport you have to select rep you will see wrap and on your flight ticket rip yeah very sad occasion if you don't want to use this much right rip rest in peace rest in peace okay the can suck the pop right rip rip roy yeah this sound like tired rip rip roy just fun just make fun of our it Roy uh, or yeah sorry uh, R O I R O I 
A stand for return or on investment. <coughs> okay, you put a lot of your effort, you put a lot of money in a company, and after a few months, they always ask, talk about ROI, return on investment. So what you get from what you have done, what you have invested, that is ROI. Okay, Paul to tool ban pi ka vinyo ru ka prang prang. Okay, S, SWOT. Okay, this one, business again. For those doing M, okay, DOSM, you have to know SWOT, right? Uh, before you open your business, you have to know SWOT, right? What's that? SWOT, S stands for strength. W weakness or opportunities T threat right risk okay threat what's that strength is your strength why you open the business okay why you creating this product okay so you have to know what your strength to do it weakness what is the weakness so you have to study around what is your weakness or what is this product weakness okay or what is your competitor weakness your competitor strength so only you have to study oh opportunity okay what opportunity come in that you have create this <coughs> okay example now we have COVID-19 and then some of the company they created delivery service pickup service deliveries food delivery service or other delivery service so this is the opportunity okay we COVID is the opportunity to for them to be success okay and threat what is threat yeah, it can be if COVID, maybe no one going to order your your service to bring to you to their house because they are afraid that you are going to bring COVID to their house. So this is the threat from the COVID, right? It's just like risk, okay? Okay, uh, just a bit of it. <laughs> so, oh. Sit out of luck. Sit out of luck. So, so sit out of luck. Try your SB. You know that, right? Those who learn English, your teacher mostly said SB. SB means someone or somebody. Someone or somebody. SB. If someone, you don't have to say SO, still SB. What's up to you? If you want to say SO, up to you. SDH, something. Because in English, things and people is always uh, a good point to note. <coughs> That's why they have SB and STH. You got it? Okay, move on to T, T, B, A. What is TBA? To be advised, to be announced, okay? To be advised, to be announced, okay? To be advised, uh, it's just like uh, they will get information later, they will inform us later, they will tell us later. TM, TAM management okay you have to have time management like right? some time for your family some you manage your time for society for charity and for your friends you don't have to skip anyone so meet all and yeah we have to have time for yourself stay relax and enjoy wherever holiday blah 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 so this is time management but if you have a lot of tasks yeah you have to have also task management. Okay. Time management 
or task management. <coughs> okay, so this one is in time management and task management. So if you have a lot of things to do, so you have to create a task management. Which one to do first and which one to keep it to do later. Okay. And time management, um, how you manage your time for work, for family, for party, yeah, for yourself. Okay, you got it. And the other one with TM is also trademark. So I visit it. Trademark. Okay. Trademark is if you create a logo on your business identity and then you register your company into an international organization your logo so and then we have trademark mostly TM is on the top of logo like beep, 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 beep. and then you have TM here okay this one is trademark TED right I like TED because a lot of professional people go on TED and uh, they talk about anything. So TED is come from tell, explain, describe. So all in all, everything is about giving information. So giving story, giving, yeah, just telling about something. So if you want to know more, you can go to TED Talk on YouTube. Then there's a lot of video there. Okay, well, move on here to F. I forget. One very important thing is F Y I. F Y I for your information. This one also you use a lot, I use a lot in email. So FYI, FYI. Okay, and yeah, you, USP, anyone know it? Yeah, you know SWOT, you have to know USP. USP is unique selling point. Unique selling point. Okay. If you want to create a product, you have to know what is your USP, what is your unique selling point. If you are selling the same thing to other people, you have to have some specialized, could be about a price, could be about your service, could be anything. So you have to tell people what is your USP. You have to create your USP. If you don't have your USP, no need to open your business. Keep your money for holiday. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, w W T O. You know that, right? World Travel Organization, World Trade Organization. Okay. W H O. World Health Organization. Everyone know this, right? Because every day we talk about W H O. W H O. Right. That's it. So this is about acronym and abbreviation and codes. So can you underline which one is acronym and which one is uh, abbreviation and which one is code? Can you find out? Okay. Give me in a comment or just send me a message on Facebook or anywhere. Love you. Believe you enjoy this and don't forget get the PDF below. Okay, I have a tiny link from our website afk-ngo.org. Okay, thanks so much. Enjoy. Jump <laughs>